So you would start very similarly by calling in the four directions, right? Your understanding of each direction of the east, uh, the sun rising at dawn, the window of knowing and full, full present sensing. So acknowledging what you understand of the innocent sage and the trickster. And then you do the same thing for the south, acknowledging their wild indigenous one. Uh, the south is the uh, the the warmest time of day. You might you might imagine you know taking some clothes off to feel the the warmth of the sun on your body, and the window of knowing is full bodied feeling. And then tuning, turning towards the west, uh, the time between night and day of dusk, where the window of knowing is your deep imagination. And uh, the archetypes are the muse, inner beloved, and this guide to soul, getting deeply imaginative about our needs and, and the life energy in us. And then uh, turning towards the north, acknowledging uh, midnight, the time of day, it's dark. And the nurturing generative adults have created processes for the village to take care of them while they're sleeping. And it's also the place of, of action, right? You know, creating requests for ourselves and requests of the community, coming up with agreements. And then you would define your problem statement, you know, like Jacqueline did before. And then you would step into each of the four directions, the archetype. So speaking from the energy of the innocent sage and the trickster, becoming fully present to the experience and then uh, standing into your South, speaking from the wild indigenous one, you know, you might actually like jump up and down or, you know, become your animal self as you're sharing, maybe even crawling on the ground, but taking on this embodied feeling uh, and speaking from that energy of, of being fully embodied. And then once you do that, you would step into the West, the place of mystery, of dreams, um, speaking from the muse beloved, using your deep imagination, maybe, uh, you know, creating uh, a whole image of the world that you'd like to live in, like, um, like what we did at the beginning of the workshop, imagining uh, a culture that fully lived connected to nature and, and letting themselves be guided by their connection to that. So uh, engaging your deep imagination. And then finally, stepping into your north, your, um, you know, the, the place of, uh, it's midnight um, and you've, you know, you're setting up processes, but this is your compassionate self, the part of you that has not only compassion for yourself, like giving yourself empathy, but it also, you know, you're able to have empathy for others. And, uh, you know, the practice of nonviolent communication comes in really handy as being uh, one of the North practices that, that Bill Plotkin suggests. Um, so again, this is, a, this is an invitation to this 10-week journey. Uh, if you click on that link, you get all the information for, for signing up for it. And, uh, and if money is an issue, you know, send me an email. Um, there's, I have some flexibility with discounts or scholarships. So, um, so I'd like to do, you know, there's, there's four of us left, I'd like to do a little closing round and then we'll say goodbye.